Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hi, uh, Edwin. Teacher, How are you? Es, uh, acá está lloviendo muy fuerte. Yo creo que oh. se dificultaría que me escuche, pero igual voy a estar en la clase. Okay, okay. Let's pray for this uh, not be a problem, okay? Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you tonight, Ana Cristina? Hello, teacher. Hi. How was your day today, Ana Cristina? So so. So so. It, more okay than bad? Bad or okay? Uh, Good or bad? Bad. Bad today? Oh, sorry bad. to hear that. <laughs> Maybe you were very busy. Mm -hmm. You had a lot of things to do today. Tuvo muchas cosas que hacer. Work, I work home. Oh, okay, you work from children. home. Okay. It two children, the six. Okay. And three. Okay. Oh, so you didn't have a babysitter tonight today. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was a bad day yes. then. Okay, then it was a bad day. Okay. <laughs> okay, then I'm so sorry for you, Anna Christine. I think you are tired. Hello, Nancy. How are you tonight? <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Hello, Carlos Eduardo. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. Okay, nice to hear fine, that. Too. Very good, very good. Okay. Hello, Wendy. Good evening. Good night. Good evening. How are you tonight? Hi, Fai. Nice. Nice to hear <laughs> that. Hello, Ana Cris. I'm um, sorry, Ana del Carmen. I, I always get confused because I have two Anas here. <laughs> okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, me puede, uh, Annie. Okay. Okay. Para. Annie. Okay. Okay, then. Hello, Annie. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. Good. Uh, well, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Karina and Giovanni, right? I need to see your faces, guys. <laughs> Hello, Karina. Ah, I Hello, want to see teacher. your nails. Hey, come on, show me your nails. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Yeah, it, it it's normal, right? After one week, we have to change it. Yeah, you're right. I, after one week, week, I'm like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, but but the first day, uh, well, when you have your manicure done, then you are like this, right? Oh, <laughs> Everybody, Showing. I think. Showing. Yeah, we want to. Hi, right? <laughs> yeah. There, you're right. You're right. Okay. And Carlos Eduardo is thinking, oh, this women. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, then. it's true. <laughs> Yeah, it's true because yeah, only you, only you as a man here at the moment. Edwin Eliseo was connected, but he told me that it was raining too hard over there and so in his place. So he was having some problems with problems, I'm sorry, problems with the connection. 
Hello, Raquel Judith. Good evening. Hi, Vladimir. Hello. How are you, Raquel? How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? Hello. Hi, Vladimir. How are you tonight? Hello, night. Very good. Now let's see Giovanni. Giovanni Alexander. How are you tonight? I think he can't hear us. Okay, we're gonna start with taking the attendance, okay? So let me go over there and get the file because I had it here. So let's start. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Astrid Tatiana. No, Astrid. Yeah, this is second day. I am missing her because she was very participative. Um, let's see. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Carla Verónica. No. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Um, Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. Present teacher. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Uh, Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, there we are. So, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Who's talking? Let's see. Hi, Juan Carlos. How are you tonight? Okay, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to check yours. Okay, let's see Juan Carlos here. Let's see. Okay. There you are. Okay. Okay, everybody. Tonight we are going to start with unit two. Yay! We are starting a new unit. Very good. Now it's not only the present simple, now we are going to add some more topics, but related, related with activities, okay? Related with activities in our workplace and some other kind of activities that we usually do in our free time, right? Like leisure activities. So let's start. 
the first thing Teacher. that I want, excuse me, who is it there? Ya estoy aquí, perdón, no me, no me dijo en la lista, o si sí, ya me había dicho quizás, pero no había ingresado. Okay, Jonathan hello, Frank. Jonathan, I'm going to take that, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to check it. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Thank you. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, los compañeros, no sé cómo se dice, pero. My classmates. My classmates. Habla uh -huh. en nena. Uh, uh -huh. Message, WhatsApp. Send message, WhatsApp. Did they send a message? Okay. Message. Is, uh, okay. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you very much, Veronica. Okay. Edwin is having trouble too. Oh, but is Edwin back? Okay, there you are. Now there let's know. see. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, para decir se fue la luz, chicos, se dice the power went out. Okay, the power went out. Okay, I'm gonna write it on the chat for you to remember. Okay, para decirme, hey teacher, the power went out when you come back, right? So, the power went out. There you are. The power went out. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's raining. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then it's having some emergencies. Oh, only one emergency. Okay. Okay, I get it. I'm so sorry to know about that. Okay, then. Okay, we're gonna start with the class tonight. Okay, let me share this for you. Let's see in the chat, we have a message and it says, oh, it's not raining here. Okay, well, be aware of that. If you get disconnected, please try again and try again because um, we cannot miss this class, right? Let's remember that, let's remember that. Okay, then. We're going to start with unit two. What is the topic for unit two? What is the topic for unit two? Let's read it. It says ongoing activities at the workplace. Ongoing activities at the workplace. So we are related, right, with the uh, unit one. So unit two is ongoing activities at the workplace. Okay, can you tell me what is the topic for unit two? Please, anyone? Ongoing activities at the workplace. Excellent. Someone else, please read it. Okay, now then everybody please activate your audio and everybody please uh, read the 
topic of this unit? Ongoing and activity at the workplace. Excellent. Everybody, please. Ongoing activities at the workplace. Ongoing activities at the workplace. Okay, this is the unit two. And what date is it today? May. Today is? Monday. Monday, is Monday May. Okay, 31. Okay. I'm going, okay. Let me. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, just let me, uh, this is like um, cultura general, right? Porque después lo vamos a ver más a profundidad o más detalladamente. But cuando vamos a decir la fecha, no lo decimos con los números eh, cardinales, okay? Sino que lo utilizamos con los ordinales. Ok, entonces no sería May 31, sería May 31st, ok, 31st, ¿qué es first? Primero, ¿y cuál es la abreviatura? ST, ¿lo miran aquí? ST, entonces tenemos que decir May 31st of 2021, May 31st, 2021. Okay. 31st, 2021. Correct. Okay. Now let's see the objective for today and the objective for this unit. Okay. Can you please read the specific objective for Unit Two, Jonathan? Please. Yeah, of course. Um, participant will be able to describe activities and events in the workplace in other environment. Environment. Okay. Then participant. Yes. Thank you. So. What is this referring to? Let's see. Describe activities and events in the workplace and other environments. Ah, so it's similar to unit one. We are related, right? Here, this is related to unit one. Now we know to say the activities, we know the activities. Now we are going to describe the activities. And let's see, the class for today, I mean, uh, today's class, the objective for today's class is that we are going to use the adverbs of frequency. Can you please read it, Carlos? The class objective, Carlos Eduardo. Class objective. Participants will be able to identify and use adverbs of frequency. Okay, adverbs of frequency. That's what is the, the main topic for today's class, adverbs of frequency. Now let's see the agenda. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read the agenda? Question simple. Uh -huh. Conversation time to feedback. Okay. Or. Yes, please. Goes? How often do you mm -hmm. frequency adverbs, conversation time, breakout rooms, okay. writing activities, wrap out? Wrap up. Okay, wrap up. Wrap up. Thank you very much, Anna. Annie. I'm sorry. And we uh, uh, right now we are in the video conference number six. Okay. We're gonna start with the feedback. 
how we're going to feed back the present sample about the present sample. Okay, then we are going to say this little conversation. Okay, it's little. No, it's not so little, right? But yes, it's a very introductory conversation. Okay. Usualmente cuando nosotros llegamos a algún lugar y vamos a conocer, a, a trabajar y vamos a conocer el sistema o la forma de hacer las cosas en ese lugar y, y conocer a las personas encargadas de cada actividad, ¿ok? Esto es un momento similar, ¿ok? Esta conversación se da en un momento similar between two people. If you say, see the picture here, do you see a woman? Okay. And do you see a man here? Okay. These two people are talking. So let's see what's his name and what's her name. And then we want to know what do they do, right? What does she do and what does he do? And let's read it. Okay. Let's read it. And it says, hello, I'm Abigail Watson. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ernest Bellevue. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you too, Ernest. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Bellevue. Is it B-E-L-B-U-E? -E? No, it's B-E-L-L-V. I E W. Thank you. Are you the new truck driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? I'm the logistics manager's secretary. I schedule the deliveries and send a report by email to the 25 truck drivers. I organize the meetings and trainings. I also call clients every Friday to set the details for the weekly shipment they usually order. I invoice the delivery charge. It depends on the distance. It's about $200. Abigail, when do you send the deliveries scheduled to the drivers? Well, I send the emails with the delivery schedule every Monday morning. When do you write the delivery report? I don't write the delivery report. The driver writes the report. When does the driver send a report? The driver doesn't send a report. The driver gives me the physical report at the office when finishes the daily deliveries. Okay, thank you for the information, Abigail. Okay, Ernest, have a nice day. See you tomorrow early in the morning. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que está pasando aquí? What is happening here? Let's see, Giovanni. Hello, teacher. Hi. ¿Qué está pasando aquí en esta conversación? What is happening here? Um, activities in the work. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Very good, Giovanni. So these two are knowing each other, okay? They are knowing each other. Se están conociendo en ese momento, right? They are knowing each other. And what's her name? What's her name? Abigail. Abigail. Yes, and what's her last name? Bellevue. Her last name? Watson. Watson. Okay. Watson. Correct. So she is Abigail Watson, right? Abigail Watson. Now let's see what's his name. Ernest. 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 
Ernest. And what is his last name? Bellevue. Bellevue. Okay, then he is Ernest Bellevue, right? Ernest Bellevue. Okay. Now, I want to see if you have any um, question about the vocabulary here. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? I am Ted Dur. I am? Donde dice manager, secretary, and Aha. Exactly. Logistics managers secretary. Okay. Logistics managers secretary. Es I said the. Excuse me. La siguiente, la que dice I schedule. No sé si I schedule the deliveries. Schedule. Schedule the deliveries. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Anyone else? Any other question? Okay, now. What are we going to do to practice this conversation? We are going to the uh, we are going to break out into the rooms and we are going to practice this conversation. But then you are going to answer these questions. Okay, these questions. Antes antes que nos vayamos a, a las uh, actividades. I want you to please tell me the activities that you are seeing here, okay? Díganme, por favor, cuáles actividades identifican. Solo las actividades que identifican en la conversación. Send the report. Drive. Write the report. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your listing manager. They organize the meeting. Organize the meeting. Okay. And find our clients every Every Friday, good. Mm -hmm. Send the emails. Order. Voice. Call clients. Call clients, good. Look. Delivery. Write the report. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now. Delivery. We... Mm -hmm. The library charger. Invoice the delivery charge. Invoice the delivery charge. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, what are you going to do? You are going to practice this conversation with your partner and then you are going to answer these questions. Okay. Number one, what does Ernest Bellevue do? What does Ernest Bellevue do? Okay. Now, number two, what does Abigail Watson do? Number three, how many truck drivers receive the delivery schedule? Okay. How much is the delivery charge? Okay. Alguna pregunta? Any question? Questions? Okay, I'm going to send at this moment to the WhatsApp group the, the two slides, okay? Both slides for you to work.
Okay, and I'm going also to Okay, there it is. We I'm are sure have a question. Tell me, tell me. Uh, are we only going to read or practice the conversation? You are going to practice with your partner, okay? okay. Practice, 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 and then you are going to answer the questions. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so we are one, two, five, six, seven, seven rooms, okay. Now there you are. And I'm sending at this moment by WhatsApp. Eh, yo soy um, hello. hello. Hi. I am. Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> hello. I, <laughs> I thought you were saying hello to me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> hello. I am Abigail Watson. What's your name? Hi. Hi. Ernest. With you, nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you, to Ernest. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's B. It's B E L B U E. No, X B E L L B I E W. Thank you. Are you the new truck driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? I the lawyer, lawyer my manager, a secretary. Is is a schedule. A schedule. I schedule. I schedule. I schedule deliveries and send. The record be made to the 20. If I draw driver, I organize the meeting. Um, organize the meeting and dining. I also call clients every Friday to set the, the time for the weekly <laughs> shipment the usually usually order I voice the delivery charge if depends on the distance it is about uh, two hundred dollars Abigail when do you send the deliveries is should, should, should to the drivers schedule 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 
Uh, when I send the email, why will the delivery schedule, schedule every Monday morning? Yeah. When do you write the delivery report? I don't write delivery report. The driver writes the report. When does the driver send the report? The driver does, I send the report. The driver give me physical report at the office when finish the daily deliveries. Hey, thank you for the information, Abigail. Okay, Ernest. Have a nice day. See, see you tomorrow early in the morning. Empiezo yo ahora. Hello, I'm Abigail Watson. What's your, what's your name? Okay, I'm leaving, <laughs> so you are doing a good job. Continue. Keep up. Okay. Thank you. Okay, see you. When does the drive send to the, the report? The drives don't doesn't send the report. The driver give me the physical report. The office when finish the 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 deliveries. Okay. Thank you for the information, Abigail. Okay, Ernest. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow early in the morning. Okay. Teacher, in the question. <laughs> in the <Hi>. question. <laughs> um, en, bueno, en la palabra shipment, no sé cómo se pronuncia, donde está. Shipment. Ship shipment. Shipment. Yes, shipment. Es lo que decía yo, abrir la boca y cerrar la boca. Look, ship men. Ship men. Ship men. Correct. Okay. Hello, I am Abigail Watson. What's your name? Bye. Bye. Hi. Uh, I am a so many Hello, teacher. How many truck drivers receive? Hello, teacher. Hi, Giovanni. How are you? Are you I'm fine? Thank you. How do you feel this uh, conversation? Practice, yes. Okay, very good. Um, yes, tell me. What is receive? Receive. Re re receive. Receive, recibir. Receive. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. How many truck drivers receive? Delivers. How do you say a schedule? A schedule. A schedule. Oh, okay. Schedule. Mm -hmm. Schedule. Schedule. Mm -hmm. Así como se oye, schedule. Schedule. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces, empezamos. What does Ernest Belgium do? Teacher, uh, and the third, the third question is say uh -huh. how many truck drivers re receive the uh -huh. del deliveries schedule? Yes. Como cuántas, 
o a cuántos conductores o cuántas entregas, algo así, recibe? Uh, no. Uh, can you please scroll, down, uh, scroll up? Scroll up and let's read it. Scroll up. Yeah, there you go. How many truck drivers? Ah, we are talking about the truck drivers. We are counting how uh, many truck drivers. Cuántas eh, eh, truck drivers? Uh, yeah. Son conductores de camiones, verdad? Yes, yes. That's the position, the job position. Okay. So, for example, it says, "What does Ernest Bellevue do?" Ah, he is a truck driver. He is a truck driver. Ah, then how many truck drivers receive the deliveries scheduled at this Abigail Watson 10? Okay, let's go and check. Scroll up, scroll up. Can you uh, scroll up, please, Edwin? Uh huh. When she is saying the activities that she does, look, I'm um, the logistics. Uh -huh. Then I schedule the deliveries and send a report by email to whom? Ah, to how many? Quantos? Yes, to the. Uh, aquí, por aquí, por aquí no estaba. Uh -huh. uh, 25. Uh -huh. 25. Two driver. Uh -huh. Yes. Es como cuántos, cam cuántos camioneros programan algo así. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Number three. ¿Cuántos camioneros programan para entregas? Algo así. No. Está preguntando que cuántos reciben o a cuántos les manda ella el email. De los schedules. Uh -huh. uh -huh. 25 truck drivers. Uh -huh. Porque de deliveries es entrega. como entrega. ¿eh? Correct. Uh -huh. Pero schedule es como es, como es? Schedule. Es, schedule. Schedule es como pro, programar algo así. No, no. Uh, yes, yes, but timetables. Do you remember timetables? Ustedes ponen ahí en el schedule by la hora y a quién le toca y la actividad que le toca, right? Uh -huh. Do you remember? Timetable, schedule for every truck driver. So she says, uh, okay, the delivery for this client is for, imagine that Edwin and you, Giovanni, are truck drivers. So I want to make the schedule for you too, okay? For you too. Then I send the email to tell you, okay, Edwin on Tuesday is going to, I don't know, Arizona, right? And Giovanni, um, Mm -hmm. On Friday is going to, I don't know, Houston. Okay. Solo es la, solo es la so, programación. Yeah, the schedule. Mm -hmm. The schedule. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Keep Number up, one. guys. You are doing a good job. So I'm going to another room. Okay. Okay. okay Thank you. Thank okay. You. Continue. Bye. <clears throat>
Okay, my dear students. Now let's see. Number one, what does Ernest Bellevue do? What does Ernest Bellevue do? Throw driver. Throw driver. Okay, then the correct answer will be he is, he is the, the, the new a... truck driver. Oh, very good. The new truck driver. Very good. Now, what does Abigail Watson do? He's the logistic manager's secretary. Very good. Okay, and then she says all the activities. Can you tell me the activities, please? Send the emails. Okay. Uh -huh. Organize the meetings. Okay. And schedule the libraries and send the report by email. Okay, schedule the deliveries okay schedule the deliveries and then she report this through the the email to the truck yeah, to the drivers the right uh -huh. okay how many truck drivers received the that delivery schedule 25 truck drivers okay. 25. Very good. And how much is the delivery charge? About 200, 200 distance. It's mm -hmm. It's about $200. And very good. Who said? I think Jonathan or someone else. Maybe Kevin? Or depends on the distance. Correct. It depends on the distance, right? It depends on the distance, but it's about $200. Okay. Now let's continue. Let's continue because we have, uh, this was just a practice using how much, how many, and the activities and the present simple. Now let's go. And I want to ask you some questions, okay? I want to ask you some questions and let's go to see the frequency of um, the frequency or the times or the time that you do something, okay? And let's read the first question that I've got for you. How often do you eat pupusas? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Every day. Okay, very good. So we have some uh, time expressions to answer this question, right? Uh, for example, your classmate said, uh -huh. I eat pupusas every day oh very good every day uh how often means the frequency they want to know the frequency of um uh the frequency with the one that you do this activity okay for example we can also Aha, we need to know some other words, right? Some other words. Those are the adverbs of frequency. But at this moment, let's use the words that we know. Utilicemos entonces las palabras que ya conocemos de la unidad uno. Do you remember the time expressions? We could say, uh, the number one, it was every day, right? I eat pupusas once a week, correct? Is this a time expression? Yes, yes, it is. Okay, once a week. So once a week, what week? What it means? We could say weekly, right? Weekly. I eat pupusas weekly. Okay, or we could say 
I eat pupusas every week. Okay. I eat pupusas every week. Now, what else could we answer? I eat pupusas every weekend. Okay. I eat pupusas every weekend. Okay. What other? How often do you every eat? Day. Every, every day. Month. Oh, very good. But if you're a Salvadorian and you live in El Salvador, I think you don't eat every month, right? It's too yeah, far. It's, that is right? impossible. Yeah, for a Salvadorian and living in El Salvador, <laughs> I think, no, nah, that's not possible. Like, come on. <laughs> so we could say every day, every day. But when do you eat pupusas? Do you eat pupusas in the morning? Do you eat pupusas for lunch? Or do you eat pupusas uh, for dinner in the evening? For dinner. For dinner. You like pupusas for dinner, okay. Okay. But there are others that they like pupusas or they eat pupusas in the morning, right? Do you eat pupusas in the morning? I yes, I do. And the morning Sunday. Oh, very good. Okay. Every day in the morning, I said right now, but then we're going to say something. Carlos, you said that, right? I eat pupusas every Sunday morning. Okay. I eat pupusas every Sunday morning. This is the way to say cada domingo en la mañana, okay? There you are. Now let's see another question. Let's see another question. How often do you visit the doctor? Never. Oh, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I never visit the doctor, okay? I never visit the doctor. How often do you visit the doctor, Ana del Carmen? Um, uh, yearly. Yearly, okay. Then we could say, I visit the doctor yearly, okay? I visit the doctor yearly okay yearly how often do you visit the doctor um uh, let's see it was wendy there wendy yeah. i visit the doctor monthly monthly okay very good monthly every month it's monthly right there you are so you see now we know some words to answer how often the frequency okay the frequency of that activity now let's see another question how often do you attend a meeting and your job how often do you attend a meeting How often do you attend a meeting, Kevin? Um, I meeting, meeting. I? Mm -hmm. Meeting? I attend a meeting. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh well, Weekly. Weekly, very good. There you are. I attend a meeting weekly. Siempre vámonos a lo simple, ¿ok? Cuando vamos a contestar una pregunta, 
Vemos lo que la pregunta dice y usamos esa misma información para formular nuestra respuesta, ¿verdad? Nos vamos a ver, por ejemplo, dice, How often do you attend a meeting? Ah, me están preguntando lo que yo hago. Entonces comienzo con yo, ¿verdad? I, luego digo la actividad en este caso, attend a meeting. Y al final digo la frecuencia con que lo hago, ¿ok? I attend a meeting weekly. Now let's see, how often do you attend a meeting, um, Vladimir? How um, uh, I attend the meeting of Um, never. Oh, okay then. I never attend a meeting. I never attend a meeting. Because you don't have meetings? Don't you have meetings, Vladimir, in your job? No tienen uh, reuniones en su trabajo? Mm. Mm. Casi, no sé cómo es, casi no. Ok, casi nunca. rarely, 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 rarely. Uh -huh. rarely. Ok, it's ok. I never attend a meeting. It's a very good answer. I never attend a meeting. Very good. Now, let's see another question. How often do you call clients? How often do you call clients? Who wants to answer? Who wants to answer? Uh huh. I call client never. Okay, then I never call clients. Okay, I never call clients. Remember that we say never after saying I. Okay, or the pronoun, right? We say the pronoun and then we say never. And then we say the activity, okay? I never call clients. Okay. Ahora pensemos en actividades que hacemos cuando no trabajamos o cuando no vamos al trabajo. Those are leisure activities, leisure activities and your free time, for example. What do you see in this picture, the first picture? What do you see in this picture? Read a book. Very good. Read play a soccer. book. Yes, play soccer, yes, good. Play soccer. Mm -hmm. good. This one? Shopping. Yeah, go shopping. Yeah, go shopping. Surf. Yes, go surfing. Okay. Or go, surf. Go to the park. Go to the park. Good. And what are they doing there? Uh, they are. What is the activity in the park? Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Okay. So read a book, ride a bike, go shopping, play soccer, go surfing, go to the beach, go to the beach, go surfing, ride a, ride a bike, go to the park read a book okay now i'm going to point it please activate your audio and everybody say the activity read the book very good everybody please activate your audio yo señalo yo señalo la foto yo señalo la foto 
Y ustedes dicen la actividad, ¿ok? Y ustedes dicen ok. La ok. Okay. Read a book. Okay. Read a book. Surfing. Go surfing. Go surfing. Go surfing. Go surfing. Right. To the park. Right. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Go to the park. Go shopping. Go shopping. Go shopping. Go shopping. Go shopping. Go shopping. Play soccer. Play soccer. Play soccer. Play soccer. The beach. Go to the beach. Uh -huh. Go to the beach. Go to the beach. Real. 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 book. Read a book. Very good. Very good. So I'm going to ask, how often do you read a book, Juan Carlos? Excuse me. How often do you read a book? I read the book uh, in, in the morning. Oh, very good. I read a book uh, in the morning, every day or or once a week? Uh, How often? A week. Uh, once a week, okay. Once a, once a week. Once a week, so weekly, once right? Mm -hmm. Twice, wait. once a week, twice. Okay, twice. very good. Now, twice. ahora vamos a hacer una, una cosa, vamos a ver. Voy a decir dos nombres. El primero que digo hace la pregunta y el segundo que digo dice la respuesta, ¿ok? Now, let's see. Ana del Carmen and Raquel Judith. I I go shopping. Mama. Twice a month. Very good, Ana. Very good, Raquel. Now let's see. El primero que digo dice la pregunta y el segundo que digo dice la respuesta. So, Karina and Omar. How often uh, do you hello. play soccer? Ah. Uh. Uh, never. I don't play soccer. <laughs> I, don't <laughs> okay. have, I don't have a time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Remember, yeah, I sometimes. never. I ne oh, okay. Then sometimes. Good. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to continue and let's go to our manuals and page 19. I think it is. It is page 19 page 19 and we are going to read this conversation and then we are going to practice, okay? Let's see, John and Anne are talking and they are talking about the frequency that they do some activities. So let's see, let's see. John, how often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. Let's read it again. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can, and how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Okay. Now, everybody activate your audio and repeat after me. How often do you check your email? 
How often do you send your email? Every two hours, and you? Every two hours, two hours. and you? And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. Well, oh, I try to I check, check it as often as I can. As often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? And how often do you call your clients? And how often, and how often, how often do you call you your clients? clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call, you call clients? clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. Yes. yes, I always I call them in the morning. Them in the morning. In the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. I You're right. You're right. Good. Yeah, hey, right. very good. Right. right. You are right. Very good. So now I want to hear Jonathan and Omar, please. Okay, I'm John. Yes. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And, uh, and how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them uh, on Friday to check their order. Do you call yes. clients? Yes, I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, now I want to hear Astrid and Karina. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two words. And you? Well, I try to check it, it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? We can hear you, Astrid. I often call them once a week on the Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Do I write? Right. Very good. Now let's uh, listen to I'm the sorry. attendance list. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop sharing and let's take the attendance. Thank you. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. Um, José Atilio Mangán de Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. 
Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Yes, um, Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. Present teacher. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, there we are. There we are. Okay, let's continue with this activity. Okay, let's continue. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? No, teacher. No questions about the vocabulary? No questions. Okay, very good. Okay, then I'm not going to show that. Oh, it's okay. I don't want to move the, the box because of the PowerPoint. So just let me fix this thing. There we are. Now let's discuss these uh, questions and let's think about Anne and let's think about the email. We have uh, done this question before, but let's see. How often does Anne check her email? Every two hours. Every two hours, right? Every two hours. What about you? What about you? How often do you check your email? During the day? Every e day. Every day? Mm -hmm. Once a day? So daily? Three or times. three times a day? Check my email once a day. Okay, once a day. Very good. Very good. So uh, here is when we need one word that expresses better what we want to say. For example, I could say sometimes, okay, sometimes I check my email in the evening, okay? But sometimes I check the email in the morning. So if you see, we need a, a one word to specify better the frequency, the frequency, okay? Muchas veces se nos hace así como que necesitamos una palabra más específica para decir la frecuencia, ¿verdad? Entonces, then is when we use the frequency adverbs. The frequency adverbs. Let's go back and let's see in this conversation. Okay, in this conversation we have
Look, we have. Ah, can you identify the adverbs of frequency here? What adverbs of frequency do you see? Usually. Very no good. Always. Always. Very good. Usually. Often. Always. Usually. Always. And we have this other. Often. 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 La, le la letra T no suena. Often. Okay. Often. Usually. Always. Those are adverbs of frequency. So let's go and see something very important. Do you see here? Okay, let me get this box to write this apart because we want to check this. I often call clients, right? The next one. I usually call clients, okay? And then I always call clients. Do you see the difference here? I often, I usually, I always, but he's talking about the same activity, calling clients, right? Call clients. So in this case, often, usually and always has kind of a level, right? Kind of a level of frequency that this um, Anne called the clients. So let me see, let me notice something, okay? Please notice this. What is the position in the sentence? ¿Cuál es la posición en la oración de un adverbio de frecuencia? What is the position? En donde va? Where does it go? What is the position? Uh -huh. After the subject and before the verb. Okay. After the subject and before the verb. So let's go and see something. There are exceptions, there are exceptions, but in general, in general, you are going to find this position in the sentence, subject, adverb, and verb. Subject, adverb, and verb. Can you please read the sentence uh, number one? Um, uh, let's see. Wendy, can you read this sentence, please? I often go to the cinema. Okay. Where does it go? After the subject and before the verb. Now let's read number two. Sentence number two, Giovanni. She, she sometimes visit me at home. Okay, very good. So the position is after the subject and before the verb. Now, number three, please, um, Raquel. We usually drink coffee in the morning. Okay. So we usually, so after we, we write the adverb and then the verb, correct? Now let's go and see this. This is very important for us, okay? How to use the frequency adverbs, how to use the frequency adverbs. Let's see what are, which ones are the adverbs? And let's read, everybody reading with me, always, everybody, always, always, always. always. Usually. Usually. usually, normally, 
Normally. Normally. Often. Often. Sometimes. Often. Sometimes. Occasionally. Occasionally. Seldom. Seldom. Occasionally. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Rarely. Rarely. Never. 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 Okay, we measure the frequency with a percentage. Okay, with a percent. Do you see here a hundred percent of the times means that always. 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 All the time. Always. Always. Always is all the time. Every time. Okay. Always is all the time. Now, let's see usually. Usually, less times than always, right? Less than always. So it will be the 90% of the times. The 90% of the times. There, usually. 80%. Eighty percent of the times is normally, normally, normally. Seventy percent of the times is often, and so on. The fifty percent of the times is sometimes. Okay, we say always. Sometimes is the middle, right? Sometimes the middle, yes, and the middle not. Okay. So sometimes the 50%, occasionally, less times, 30% of the times, you see? Seldom, a 10% of the times. But like que me decían, casi, right? Casi will be hardly ever, hardly ever. Casi nunca, right? Hardly ever, rarely. Rarely, raramente, right? Rarely, rarely. Never is that that activity doesn't happen. You don't do that activity ever, okay? You don't do that activity ever. So let's read the sentences. I always get up at five o'clock. I always get up at five o'clock. Can you repeat, please? I always get up at five o'clock. I always get up at five o'clock. He usually drives to work. He usually drives to work. She normally checks her email. She normally checks her email. I often have breakfast at work. I, I often have, have a breakfast at work. work. She sometimes uses the microwave. She sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work over time. I occasionally work over time. We seldom take calls at work. He rarely has conferences. He rarely has conferences. I never get late to work. I never, never get late to work. Okay, then, how often do you get late to work? How often do you get late to work? Hi. Often get late to work. I often get late. Often? Or never? Or rarely? A ver. How uh, often I... do you get late to work? <laughs> <laughs> do you get late to work? 
If you get late to work, yeah. they, you are going to have a discount. <laughs> okay. So, how often do you get late to work? What is the answer for that question? Let's see. Omar? How often do you get late to work? Um, one day, um, uh, here. Mm, no, never, teacher. I never. Okay, then you have to say I, go I to the never. Work. Oh, I okay. go to the work uh, late. late. I'm sorry, Omar. I'm sorry. Could you please repeat? Mm, no, I, 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 I go to the work uh, early. Okay, thank you very much, Omar. So, everybody, please think, and let's go to simple. Let's go to simple. How often? How often? Do you get late to work? Siempre que nos preguntan, vámonos a lo, a lo simple, ¿verdad? Acuérdense de ese tip. Siempre nos vamos a lo simple y vamos a utilizar la información que nos están pidiendo en la pregunta. ¿Ok? So, the question is, how often do you get late to work? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Haciéndola simple. I, así como está aquí. Ok. I. ¿Cuál es la posición del adverbio de frecuencia? Después de que digo yo, ¿verdad? Después de que digo I, digo el adverbio de frecuencia. I never okay, get. Get, ok, get. Uh -huh. Late to work. Siempre vayámonos a lo simple para contestar. ¿Qué es lo simple? Formar una oración sencilla. ¿Ok? El sujeto, el verbo y el complemento. En este caso estamos agregando el adverbio de frecuencia. ¿Ok? So, I'm going to ask again. How often do you get late to work? I... I, I never really. get late to work. Correct. I never get late to work. Correct. But let's teacher, imagine. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, I, I can say uh, I always arrive early. Very good. I always arrive early. All right. okay. okay. Yes, of course, you can say that. I always arrive early. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Para que visualicemos un poquito mejor, to visualize a little more this thing. Okay. Okay, you have this. Always, every time and all the time, the 100% of the times. Usually, mm, there are some times that we didn't do that, but it's more than sometimes, so usually, okay? Often, well, let's think about this three times we didn't and this four times we did. So more than a half, right? More than a half, más de la mitad de las veces, okay? Sometimes is the half of the times, la mitad de las veces, right? Seldom, rarely, and hardly ever, then, well, casi nunca, right? Casi nunca. And never, well, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. 
Entonces, ¿cuál es la pregunta a la que responden los adverbios de frecuencia? What is the question? Here we have, how often do you? Ok. Correcto. Okay, now we are going in the manual in the page number 20. This is in the page number 20. Go to your manuals. There you have a box to complete a list of your activities in a regular week. Okay, these are activities in a regular week. Let me share the screen for you because we are gonna do it together. Okay. Here we have. Okay. And it says complete a list of your activities you do in a regular week. Okay. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. I always, and then you say the activity, okay? I'm going to give you two minutes to think and try to write. Then we are going to share. Everybody working. Complete a list of your activities you do in a regular week. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, let's see. Let's listen. Uh, well, aquí yo los veo así como en orden. Tengo a Nancy, luego a Ana, luego a Astrid. ¿Las miran exactamente igual ustedes? No. No? Ok, let's see. Entonces, voy a ir diciendo un nombre y así va a ir continuando las oraciones, ok? Comenzamos. La primera oración de la actividad que usted haya puesto con eh, always, ok? Vamos a ver. Usando always, using always. Nancy. Ok. I always uh, attend my work. Ok, very good. Ana del Carmen, I'm sorry. Ani. With always. Sorry, sorry. I always get up at 7 a.m. Okay, thank you. Ana Cristina. I always have breakfast. Okay, very good. I always have breakfast. That's a, good, a very good habit. Let's see, Kevin. Um, I always have um, a counting class at 6 p.m. Okay, I always have accounting. Oh, okay, accounting. Okay, good, good. Very good. Now let's see, Juan Carlos. I always take a shower at 6 a.m. Very good. Very good, that's, okay, that's a very good sentence. <laughs> And it's a tricky one. Huh? <laughs> okay, what do you think? Do you think that Juan, Juan Carlos always take a shower? <laughs> good, good, good. Now let's see, Giovanni. I always call clients on week. Okay, uh, let's see. I always call, call clients once a week. Uh, Twice. Twice a week, okay, thank you. Now, Edwin Eliseo. I always take a... Ah, I always take a shower in the morning. Okay, very good. Now we have two. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's see Wendy. I always, I take a shower. Okay, very good. I always take a shower. I always take a shower. Very good. Uh, let's see Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan is not over there. Let's see Raquel. I always drink coffee in the morning. Very good, very good. So, Vladimir? I always go to work on time. Okay, very good. Omar? La misma tenía, pero bueno. Okay. Okay, um... I always uh, drink tea uh, in the morning. Okay, good. It's very healthy. A yeah, healthy option. Very good. Now let's see Carlos Eduardo. Yes. I rarely get late to work. I always? I 
rarely get late to work. Oh, okay. Okay, I rarely get late to work. Well, okay, very good. It's a very good sentence. Now, Astrid? I always uh, visit uh, my mother. I always visit uh, my mother. Okay, visit my mother. Sin a, ah, solo visit my mother. Okay, very good. Now let's see Karina. I am always on time in my classes. Oh, very good. Let's see Jonathan. I vis I always visit my grandpa every week. Okay, very good. So now we know the position of the adverb of frequency in the sentence, and now we know the frequency that they represent or the meaning of each adverb of frequency. And we know now how to answer the question, how often do you, right? How often do you? So now let's see, because we, um, at the beginning of the class, at the beginning of the class, we saw some pictures. Let's go to the pictures and you are going to ask the questions and then you are going to answer this, those questions, okay? Let's see. ¿Qué vamos a hacer entonces? Eh, yo voy a decir el nombre de una persona y esta persona va a hacer la pregunta, va a escoger la actividad de las figuras o de lo que aparezca en la pantalla y usted va a escoger a quién le está preguntando y esta persona a quien usted le pregunta tiene que responder la frecuencia con que hace esa actividad. ¿Correcto? ¿Entendido? Ok, let's start. ¿Questions? ¿No questions? Okay, let's start then. There we are. Vamos a comenzar por lo fácil. We are going to start for the easy part, okay? And let's start with this one. Okay, Astrid. Hey, Carlos, Carlos Eduardo, how often do you eat pupusas? Carlos, Carlos Eduardo, how often do you eat pupusas? Excuse me, don't kill me. Uh, I eat pupusa uh, every Sunday in the morning. Okay. Continue, let's see. Jonathan. Um, Vladimir, how often do you visit the doctor? Uh, I never visit the doctor. Okay. Excellent. Now, next will be for Karina. Nancy, how often do you attend a meeting? I usually and and one and one. Mm. Every day. Okay, I usually attend a meeting. 
Hasta en el meeting. Every day. Uh, every day. Ok. Aquí sí se cumple lo que me preguntaba Juan Carlos la vez pasada. Me dice, ¿al final dejamos la time expression? Sí, al final la dejamos. Miren, aquí sí se cumple. ¿Ven ustedes? Ok, let me see this. Okay. You see? Usually in the middle, right? In the middle of the subject and the verb. And then at the end of the sentence, then we have the time expression. And this is a very good answer. I usually attend a meeting every day. Okay, next, Vladimir. How, uh, Jonathan, how often do you clams, call clams? I usually call clients every night. Every night or every evening? Every evening, sorry. Okay, very good. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, there you are. Now, let's go. <clears throat> Vamos a lo un poquito más. Ya de pensar la pregunta, okay? We're gonna think about the question and think about the answer. I'm going to point the picture and I'm going to say the name, okay? So in this case, the first picture, Ana del Carmen. Hi, Olsen, do you read in the book? Okay, how often do you read a book? ¿A quién le hacemos la pregunta? Sí, uh, no recuerdo los nombres de los chicos. Uh, Wendy. Ok. I never read and the book. Okay, I never read a book. Ok, then. Let's see, Ana Cristina. Te pregunto a Omar. Ok. How often do you play soccer? Oh, ok. Ok. Um, uh, I play a soccer um, on Saturday in the night. Okay, let's use the adverbs of frequency here. I usually. I usually. Okay. I, I, I usually play soccer mm -hmm. uh, on Sunday in, in the night. Okay. Oh, at, the night, at the night. Evening. On Sunday evening. Evening. Okay. okay, on Sunday evening. Very good. So now let's see uh, Wendy. This picture. A Nancy. Okay. How, how often do, do you shopping? Do you go shopping? Do you go shopping? Um, no. No. Um, okay. <laughs> How often do you go shopping, Nancy? No. Frequency. Uh, no, usually go to the shopping. Okay, I usually go shopping, okay? When do you go shopping? No. How usually, no. Yeah, me confundí. <laughs> no problem, Nancy. Okay, let's try to let's try to uh, formulate um, an answer. Okay, the question was, how often do you go shopping? Okay, 
shopping at home, sorry. <laughs> How often do you go shopping? Mm -hmm. Let's go. I uh -huh. don't usually. Okay, go. then I never go shopping. Okay. Mm -hmm. I never okay. go shopping because you don't go out for doing shopping or for going. You don't go to do shopping, right? So I never go shopping. I never go shopping. Now, let's see. Let's imagine. Let's imagine that Nancy goes um, goes shopping uh, two times in a month, okay? Then we could say, I usually, okay, go shopping mm -hmm. uh, twice a month. Okay, twice a month. Pero okay. también imagínense, así como dice ella, ella trató de decir, I usually don't go shopping, porque sí puede ser que alguna vez, tal vez, allá donde, donde, okay. <laughs> We could say then, I hardly ever, okay, casi nunca, I hardly ever go shopping. Okay. Okay. Okay, there you are. Thank you. You're welcome, Nancy. Now let's continue. I'm gonna say the last name. Okay, I'm going to say the last name. El último nombre, no el apellido. Okay, let's see. Ana Cristina ya dijo. No, right. Ya dijo. I was going to say Ana Cristina. Okay, then let's see. Yes, a man me pregunté. Okay, thank you very much. Then Carlos Eduardo. Carlos Eduardo. Let's see. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm Giovanni. going to Okay, Giovanni. Mhm. Mm How often uh, do you go surfing? I never go surfing. Okay, very good. I never go surfing. But do you go to the beach? Do you go to the beach? Yes. I okay, go very good. Now let's see, how often do you go to the beach? Repeat. How often do you go to the beach? I um, I often Okay, good. Go to the beach. Very good. Excellent. So, Ahorita solo quiero que hagan un poquito la diferencia y que recuerden este nuevo dato que les voy a dar, ¿ok? No podemos decir dos veces negativo, ¿ok? Ahorita no hemos visto el negativo y por eso nos cuesta un poquito entrar cuando decimos never, ¿verdad? Cuando decimos never es negativo. Never es como decir que no va, ¿ok? Entonces, no... No usemos las dos, ¿ok? No usemos los dos negativos. Puede ser, I don't, perdón. Uh -huh. I don't go to the beach, for, for example, ¿ok? This is just an example. I don't go to the beach. Estoy diciendo que no voy, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ver, pero esa es nunca la frecuencia. So, I never go to the beach. Pero nunca, nunca voy a decir I don't never. Ok, eso nunca. 
I don't never. Puedo decir, I don't go to the beach. O puedo decir, I never go to the beach. Pero nunca voy a decir, I don't never. Porque eso es error. ¿Ok? ¿Correcto, chicos? I go oh. like to live on the beach. I go like what? I go, I go like to, to live on the beach. On the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so you love the beach. Very good. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, it will be so good to live over there. Okay. Now I'm going to take the attendance, guys, and because time is up. So let me take the attendance. But first of all, do you have any question about the content of today's class? Tienen alguna pregunta? Opinion? No? Okay. Teacher. Tell me. The question. Uh, uh, but I for example, for example, mm -hmm. how often, how often do you mm -hmm. question? He asked, as well, uh, often, también? Okay, uh, per per permítame, déjeme agarrar la pizarra acá. Okay, let me get the board. Aha. The question was, how often, huh? I often do you in the yes. question. Yes, uh -huh. this is the in question. The, in the old world, eh, uso siempre la adverbio de frecuencia often. Si, no, eh, eh, ese es un adverbio diferente, o sea, es un adverbio específico, ¿verdad? No oh, quiere okay. decir que siempre va a contestar con ese adverbio sino que usted va a decir el adverbio que, o la frecuencia con que usted hace la, lo, la actividad. For example, I usually go, I usually go uh, to the movies, okay? Or to the cinema, we said, right? To the cinema. I usually go to the cin cinema. So, pero podría decir I often, porque es un tiempo específico. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. I often go to the cinema. Sí, puedo contestar. Okay. Yes, of course. Ah, okay. Yes, okay. of course. Of thank course. you, thank you. Okay, my pleasure. So that was a very good question. And let's take the attendance. So everybody, please turn on your camera and say present. El, el turno de ahora es para Carlos Eduardo. Okay. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ok, Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present. Ok, Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Jonathan uh -huh. Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Okay. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. Present. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present, teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Divas. Present. 
Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, guys, time is over. So class is over. And let's meet us tomorrow. I'm going to post a question in the platform tomorrow for the tomorrow's class. So be uh, aware of that. And today is Carlos' um, turn. So have a good night, everyone. And let's meet us tomorrow. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, yeah. Carlos. Tell me, do you have a question or opinions or comments? Um, no question. It, it, okay. uh, uh, I learned <laughs> very slowly. Uh, that, uh, me pasa lo que usted dice. Muchas veces quiero contestar con, con otras cosas y me salgo de, del tema. Entonces me quiero mantener siempre dentro del, del tema. Y quizás ahí es donde me, donde me pierdo. Oh, ok. Ok, bueno, eh, a manera de consejo o de la forma en que yo le puedo ayudar es que eh, cuando pues, siempre nosotros queremos hablar como que somos nativos, ¿verdad? Porque nuestro idioma, pues obviamente su nivel es muy avanzado, es nativo, ¿verdad? Su idioma español. Sí. Pero para poder aprender un idioma diferente como una segunda lengua, tenemos que irnos a lo simple, ¿verdad? A las estructuras simples, a lo más básico para poder ir formando encima el vocabulario. Y aquí entra en juego eh, la imitación, ¿verdad? la imitación. ¿Por qué? Porque si usted imita tal como se ha dicho y lo va y lo pone en práctica tal como se ha dicho, es un éxito, ¿ok? Pero si usted escucha aquí una cosa y no la dice de esa manera, entonces ahí viene el fracaso, ¿verdad? Uno, uno sabe cómo se dice, pero uno cree que lo va, que, que va a quedar como, ah, muy básico. No, es la base del idioma. Por ejemplo, si, te voy a hacer un ejemplo en español, ¿ok? Yo le pregunto a usted, eh, algo básico, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se llama usted? ¿Ok? ¿Cómo me responde? Yo me llamo Carlos. Hay una manera de contestarlo y es una manera bien básica. Todo mundo va a decir exactamente lo mismo. Eso es lo que a nosotros, es, eh, pe, no, lo que nosotros pensamos que la gente va a creer que yo soy muy básica si yo digo my name is. Pero esa es la única manera que hay correcta para decirlo, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, eso es lo que tenemos que cambiar nuestro concepto, de que no vamos, a, siempre queremos parecer que lo podemos, pero sí lo podemos, sí lo podemos, pero hay que practicar cada estructura pequeñita que vamos aprendiendo. Bueno, sí. le voy a sí. hacer otro ejemplo. ¿Cuántos años tiene usted? Uh. Even though you don't say the age. Vale, póngale que no me diga ya, la edad. Ya me pero... puedo poner la vacuna. <risa> Oh, ok, no, I get it, I get it. <ríe> Entonces, hay una forma específica de contestar esa pregunta que es sumamente básica y va a ser así siempre para hasta el más experimentado en el español, ¿verdad? El que escribe lo más hermoso, el idioma más literario, siempre va a decir que mi edad es o tengo tantos años. Eso no cambia, no cambia. Entonces, de la misma manera el inglés. Hay que procurar irse a lo básico, a lo simple, a la estructura pequeñita que empezó. But, por ejemplo, sí. estamos viendo how often, ¿verdad? How, how often. often do you um, uh, call your mom, for example, if you've got your mom. Si usted tiene a su mamá, entonces, 
how often do you call your mom? Entonces, o le pregunta a alguien usted, ¿verdad? How eh, often, algún, uh, yeah, how often do you call your mom? Because yeah, it's a very important thing. Es como una cosa muy importante, apegado. En, y uno dice, ve, este ni le llama. How often do you call your mom? ¿Verdad? Yeah. Es simple, es sencillo y se lo puedo decir. Así como aprendí ahorita, así va a ser hasta el final, porque es la base. ¿Ok? Entonces. Yeah, okay. Una, una uh -huh. cuestión, este, okay. por, ejemplo, por ejemplo, con lo que comenzamos ahora, el, el diálogo que era muy largo, el de... El, el primero. De, ajá, que se llamaba Abigail. Abigail y, Watson. Abigail, ajá. Y ese no lo podíamos haber dicho así en clase, porque la parte donde ella explica es muy intensa y en realidad... Eh, se traba demasiado uno. En, en si quiere lo practicamos ahorita. Lo podemos ah, practicar ahorita. Me gustaría. Bye, me gustaría entonces. Ok, eh, let's practice. I'm going to share it for you, ok? Let me go there. Mm, one second. Okay. ¿Es, ¿Esa se ve bien, teacher? ¿O usted la, mejor la comparte usted? Ah, bueno, está bien. Yo también estaba tratando. Sí, no okay. sé si se Sí, sí se mira bien. Sí se mira bien. Y si no, pues aquí la tenemos también en el, en el otro. Okay. Pero, ok, comenzamos. Si usted gusta... Eh, la parte difícil sería la que dice eh, Abigail. Ok. Entonces, si quiere, yo Hagamos, comienzo con Abigail. Ok, primero practiquémosla y después hacemos la, la conversación, ok? First okay. of all, let's practice that part. Ok. I am the logistic manager secretary. Ok. Repeat I'm after me. The logistic manager. No. I am the logistics manager secretary. Secretary, yes. I schedule the deliveries and send a report by email to the 25 truck drivers. I schedule. Schedule. The, schedule. I schedule the deliveries and send the report by email to the 25 truck driver. I organize the meetings and trainings. I organize the meetings and trainings. I also like Call clients every Friday to set the details. Okay. I also call clients every Friday. I also call clients every Friday to, to set, set the details for the weekly shipment they usually order. Oh, to set the to set. To, to, set. Set. Uh -huh. to set the details for the weekly shipment they usually order. Excellent. I invoice the delivery charge. I invoice the delivery charge. It depends on the distance. It depends on the distance. It is about $200. It is about $200. Okay. A ver, ¿qué? la siente difícil. A ver. No, pero, pero excelente, porque yo, aunque la leía, no sabía si estaba bien o si estaba mal. O sea, en realidad, solo la leía. Cuando la practicamos con la compañera, pues yo la leía. Pero ok. No, ni ella me dijo si estaba bien o estaba mal. <ríe> y ni yo le podía corregir a ella porque no sabía si estaba bien o si estaba mal. Oh, ok, ok, ok. That's a very good observation. Ok, vamos a ver, practiquémosla nuevamente y después hacemos la, la, la conversación. I am the logistic manager secretary. I am the, I am the logistic manager secretary. I schedule the deliveries and send the report by email. I schedule the, the deliveries. Deliveries, send, deliveries. De, perdón. I schedule, schedule, así schedule. Schedule, así como se oye, schedule. I schedule. Yes. I schedule the, the, the delivery and send the report 
by email to the 25 truck driver. I organize. I organize. The meetings the meet, and trainings. The meetings and trainings. I also call clients every Friday. I also call clients every Friday. To set the details for the weekly shipment they usually order. To, to, set, set, the detail, mm -hmm. to set the details for the weekly shipment they usually order. Mm -hmm. I, I invoice the delivery I, charge. I invoice the delivery charge. It depends on the distance. It depends on the distance. It is about $200. It is about $200. Correct. Now, um, you are going to be Ernest and I'm going to be Abby. No, no. The, uh, I'm going to be Ernest and you are going to be Abigail. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So you start. Okay. Hello. I. Abigail Watson. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ernest Bellevue. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you too, Ernest. I'm sorry. What's your last name again? It's Bellevue. Is it B-E-L-B-U-E? -E? No, it's B-E-L-L-V-I-E-W. Thank you. Are you the new truck driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? I'm the logistic manager secretary. I schedule the delivery and send the report by email to the 25 truck drivers. I organize the meeting and training. I also, also um, I also, also, no. Uh, also, also. I also call clients every Friday to set the details for the weekly shipment they usually order. I invoice the delivery charge. It depends on the distance. It is about $200. Abigail, when do you send the delivery schedule to the drivers? Well, I send the emails with the delivery schedule every Monday morning. When do you write a delivery report? I don't write the delivery report. The driver writes the report. When does the driver send the report? The driver doesn't send the report. The driver gives me the physical report at the office when finish the daily delivery. Okay, thank you for the information, Abigail. Okay, Ernest, have a nice day. See you tomorrow early in the morning. Very good, Carlos Eduardo. You did a good job. You did a good job. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and that's what I was talking about, that you have to focus on the simple structures before of going to the uh, more complex, okay? Why? Because here, if um, de todo esto, ay, perdón, eh, déjeme llegar allá. De todo esto, ¿cuánto usted cree que entendió en las primeras eh, que Tres veces que lo vimos en la clase, porque lo vimos una, dos y luego la tercera que hicimos las, las, um, las respuestas. Entonces, más o menos como, um, como cuánto más o menos usted entendió de esta conversación. Oh, all, all. Ok, eh, sí lo entendió. Uh, oh, yeah. Ajá, porque hay estructuras simples que hemos ido viendo, ¿verdad? Sí. Estructuras simples que hemos ido viendo. Entonces, es lo mismo que tiene que hacer siempre. 
always, okay? But now let's see the questions. Let's see the questions because we said, what does Ernest Bellevue do? What does Ernest Bellevue do? Okay. He is a new truck driver. Okay. What does Abigail Watson do? And she is the, she is the logistic manager secretary. Yeah, he, um, exactly. Then, <laughs> yes, uh huh. So she is saying, you see, this. Oh, yeah. This is the, this is the activity, and this yes. is the explanation, right? This is the explanation. What does she do with the schedule that she makes, right, or that she programmed? So, this is what we have to do. So let's do it again. Let's do it again if you want, okay? okay? So you are Abigail again, okay? Uh, Abigail, hello. I am Abigail Watson. What's your name? Hi, I am Ernest Valdu. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you too, Ernest. I'm sorry. What's your last name again? It's Bellevue. It's it B L B E L B U E. No, it's B E L L V I E W. Thank you. Are you the new truck driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? I am the logistics manager secretary. I schedule the deliveries and send your report by email to the 25 truck driver. I organize the meetings and training. I also call I I also call clients every Friday to set the tea time for the weekly shipment they usually order. I invoice the delivery chair. It depends on the distance. It, it is about $200. Abigail, when do you send a delivery schedule to the drivers? Well, I send the email with the delivery schedule every Monday morning. When do you write the delivery report? I don't write the delivery report. The driver writes the report. When does the driver send a report? The driver doesn't send the report. The driver give me a physical report at the office when finish the, the daily delivery. Okay, thank you for the information, Abigail. Okay, Ernest, have a nice day. See you tomorrow early in the morning. Okay, vamos a ver algunos detallitos. Cuando vemos la tercera persona, the third person, Carlos Eduardo, for example, the driver, we have to say gives. Okay, with the letter yes. S, it, it has to sound. Gives me, gives yes. me. It, Here it, it says, me. yes, finishes, finishes. Finishes. Okay, finishes. and finishes. let's see the other, writes, writes. 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 Tiene que sonar esa S, okay? Writes. okay? Now, let's see the last thing. Have a nice day. Esa es una expresión. Have a nice day. Okay. Have a nice day. Have, Have a, a nice, nice day. day. Have a nice Have day. Have a, a nice day. Have a nice day. Yes. Eso quiere decir, tengo un buen día. Okay. Tengo un buen día. Sí. Yes. Have, Have a, a nice, day. nice day. Have a nice Have day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Okay. Very good. So, what do you think now? Do you think it's better now? It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's really very good. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Very nice. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to help you with this. Is there any other thing that you want me to help you with? No. Oh, más, así como la semana pasada nos dio mucha ayuda, ayuda audiovisual. Yo realmente en los tiempos libres sí me gusta escuchar ver esos videos y en uh, practice. Uh, okay. It's really good. Okay, okay. 
Sí, ahí les voy a estar mandando. I'm going to be sending through the chat and we're going to be sending also links to practice. Okay. Maybe grammar, maybe speaking or listening activities for you to reinforce, okay? To reinforce. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. uh, something else that you want to tell me? No, okay. No, voy a dejar dormir, <laughs> okay, no problem. It's my pleasure to explain, to explain, and everything gets clear. Okay. Thank you for that. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, then let's meet us tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Have a good night, then. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. Bye bye.